Hi guys, Dane here, and today I am going to be doing the bookshelf book tag. So this was created by a wandering mind. Okay, so for this one, there are whew, there are 13 questions. Some of them are actually a little bit tricky. I haven't prepared books for this one because it's a it's more of a talky one. So I guess without further ado, let's get going. So question number one: How many bookshelves do you have? I don't know. I have to go and count. Okay, I figured it out. So I have four that size, which are six shelf bookshelves. Then I have two that are four shelves, basically. They're two different bookcases. One is actually one that style that I then took two of the shelves off for reasons. Then I have one that is a half size, so it's just three shelves like that. And then I have two that are that height, but are like s split in half, basically. The best I can give you there. Question number two, how many books are on your bookshelves or how many books do you think you have? So check me Goodreads. Okay, on my red shelves, there are 1,286. On my currently reading, there are 206. On my wish list, by the way, there are 2,530. So that'll keep me going for a few years. I worked it out, it'll take me about 10 years, something like that to read that many. Okay, so how do I add these together? One equals 1286 plus 206. So 1492 if you add my red and my TBR piles. And then up there I have what? 60 copies of my own books, which puts us about 1550. There's your answer. Question number three How do you organize your books? I organize them alphabetically by surname and then. Uh, it will go author first name if needed, and again, uh, the titles of the books are alphabetical as well. So it just means I can find things. Question number four, what is the oldest book on your bookshelf? Now, does this mean, what does this mean? Does it mean the, f the first one that was published? Does it mean the one that I've had the longest? Does it mean the one that has been in existence the longest? Probably the oldest written one I have is my bedside book at the moment, which is The Odyssey by Homer. And then probably the oldest copy that I own is probably my copy of Journal of the Plague Year by Daniel Defoe, maybe? Something like 1870, I think it was printed. I don't know. And the one I've had the longest is probably my Chronicle of the Year 1989. The, the, this question is kind of a common question, though, so I think I've sh shared all of these books before. Question number five. What is the newest book on your bookshelf? Okay, it's literally the, new, the most recent book that I hold, and it's Rebellious Spirits, Audacious Tales of Drinking on the Wrong Side of the Law by Ruth Bohr. And I guess this is new as well because, I don't know, I've just been sent it, so, oh no, it does say first published 2015, this paperback edition is 2018. I didn't ask for this, it just got sent to me, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, I'm looking forward to reading it. Question number six, what is the longest book on your bookshelf? It's through there in that room and it is The Stand by Stephen King. Yeah, it's 480,000 words. Question number seven, what is the shortest book on your bookshelf? This would be Jeffrey Lewis. He, he wrote a series of the short little paper, uh, paper chat books and basically it's, it's called Sonic Youth. So he took Sonic Youth. I'm gonna have to show you these, aren't I? So I've got three of them. And so as you can see, Sonic Youth and they're named after Sonic Youth albums. So for example, my favorite Sonic Youth album is Daydream Nation. And he basically takes the track listing of the song, so for example Teenage Riot, does a little illustration and then writes a sonnet for it. I don't know if you know Teenage Riot, the song, but it's a really good song, you should check it out. But to begin with it's like, Spirit Desire, we will fall. But anyway, that Spirit Desire thing is, I guess, relevant, because the, the sonnet goes, A whispered spirit voice commences calling, the future's foggy and the past is checkered. In spirit deep desires we are falling, till over to complete we start the record. First thing, whether they speak it or they rhyme it, one topic dominates each screed and sermon. The crazy wind and rain and nasty climate. But is it true? That's what we must determine. The time has come to get it, let's not rattle. We're sticking to our guns and keeping calm. A martial lamp will be the call to battle. We'll paint a zero on our idol's palm. Awaken, hit the road, all cognoscenti. Unrest has flared in those aged 12 through 20. Really cute, especially if you like Sonic Youth. And um, I went to see him because uh, Jeffrey Lewis is a musician as well. He has a great song called uh, Sad Screaming Old Man, where it's like, I just need to get some sleep, but I don't know when I can begin, but I don't want to spend a minute in this same old story, purgatory, stop the torture, old man, and please don't be myself from the future. So yeah, anyway, that was a really long way of answering this. 
I imagine my bad singing is going to clash with the music I use in the backdrop as well, but whatever. Alright, question eight. What is the predominant genre on your bookshelf? No idea. Possibly like 20th century classics, if you can have that. Like, I've got a lot of Graham Greene, like William Burroughs, Kerouac, Ginsberg, Bukowski, Hemingway. Either that or it's comic fantasy because I have like 60 Terry Pratchett books just swaying the count for that particular genre. Question number nine, have you done a bookshelf tour? Yes, basically. I've, I've done a TBR shelf tour that is now hideously out of date, so let me know if you want me to do a new one. I have done a brief like overall bookshelf tour. And I am doing a shelf by shelf tour at the moment as well. There's actually a playlist, I'll link to it below. Question number 10, go on a random number generator and talk about the book that corresponds with that number. I have no idea how to do this. Let me think, what did I say for me shelves? Shelf number nine, that's on my TBR shelf. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all right. I reckon there's about 40 odd books. What have we got? Number 22. So weirdly, there is something I can tell you about this. This is The Ode Less Travelled, and this is by Stephen Fry. It's called, subtitle is Unlocking the Poet Within, and it's basically non-fiction about poetry from what I understand. Um, Stephen Fry believes that if you can speak and read English, you can write poetry. But it is no fun if you don't know where to start or have been led to believe that. Anything goes. And, I mean, I write poetry and I read poetry, so I'm interested in reading this anyway. But I'm also going to buddy read this with uh, Claudia from Spinster's Library. And I think she's not particularly into poetry, so this would be quite a good introduction for her. Hopefully, anyway. I guess we'll let you know. But we're buddy reading this from first two weeks of May, May the 1st to May 13th, so if you want to get involved, let me know in the comments and uh, you can come read this one with us. Of all of the books that random number generator could have pulled out, it actually pulled one out that is kind of relevant. <laughs> okay, question 11, do you have fan merch or any other decorations on your bookshelf? So I used to not, I used to really hate having stuff on my bookshelves. I don't mind having stuff on top like we've got up there, but actually on the shelves used to really annoy me and basically we have no space here. And I've been getting the Harry Potter World of Wizardry box, so that comes with stuff. Like, got a few wands and a Luna Lovegood Funko Pop and all this stuff. And so in the end, I just gave in and just started putting it on my shelves. So yes, I do have stuff on there. Question number 12, show us your bookshelf. There's one of them. I'll link below to my bookshelf tours playlist, and there's like one called like a brief overview of my or a quick bookshelf tour or something like that and that's good for getting the scope of of how big my collection is okay and question number 13 tag someone so i'm going to tag three people as usual these are just people who've commented on my channel recently but also actually they are also three people i watch as well so and they are going to be mark nash buck axe go on scott and lucy and bubbly bookend so there we have it, there is the bookshelf book tag. Thanks a lot for a wondering mind for creating this and I think for tagging me in. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video, hit subscribe if you'd like to see more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot, bye bye.